Here in this video, I'm going to talk about what Proc Survey Select is and how can we use this particular thing, right? Well, so before I start with this particular thing, I would like you to understand what population is, what sample is, what random sampling is, and what restricted sampling is, right? Restricted random sampling rather we can say, okay? Now, if you are someone who already knows these things, please feel free to skip skip this particular time frame and you can directly reach to the proc survey select now moving forward let's consider that you have been asked to do the survey with all these people in a country let's say in a country you have been asked to do a survey right so the country might have used population in millions or in billions and it might cost huge time and effort and money to do this survey for all the population so what we generally do is we take all right before I reach over there so the entire people in the country will be referred as population and it will be difficult to conduct the survey with each of the person in the given po population so what we do is we make a segment of this population by picking out people out of this population right so this segment is nothing but called the sample now <clears throat> when you are asked to do the sampling of this population there could be a possibility that you end up doing end up taking out the people for survey from your relative or from a specific group itself you might turn out to be the biased person so to fix this thing what we are doing is we are going to close your eyes right and we are going to ask you pick people from this population so by this you will be picking any person wherever you touch you will pick that right so if we ask you to pick five people you would not be biased because your eyes are closed right so this is called the random sampling means there is no criteria you are simply putting your hand on any of the people and just picking it out okay so that's called the random sampling so <clears throat> in pop in terms of population this might not be possible but in terms of object it might be possible but the moral of this story is picking po people without any biasness is called the random sampling right so that's called the random sampling now because you have understood the random sampling we will jump to the proc survey select and to do this thing what we're gonna do is you're gonna use this particular data whenever you are doing any kind of exploratory data analysis it first comes that you take the data now in data you might get millions of records and it might turn out to be difficult for you to do the exploratory data analysis on that and for that what you do is you you need to select samples of that data how you can do that in sas for that proc survey is something which helps you to achieve that now let me show you some <coughs> basic examples how can you do this using proc survey select what is the syntax first of all so the syntax for this particular thing would be you simply gonna write proc survey select and then you need to supply the input data which will be sas help <coughs> dot cars and then you need to say output data name right sample cars all right and then you also have to specify what sort of method that you want to use to sample this particular data right so for that we're going to use method as srs srs is nothing but simple random sampling and you also need to tell sas what how many number of records you want to have in your sample so for that you're gonna say sample size sample size i want to pick just six records in my sample right that is it and then all that you need to do is just run this particular thing and because it will produce a it will create a data set so what i want what i'll do is i'll just print that particular data set proc print data equals to sample cars all right 
and then I will just run this let me check out if this spelling and everything is correct yes it's correct now I will just execute this particular part and what you see over here is oops we got error let's see what the error is here it says unrecognized form of run statement use either run or run cancel let's see what is the problem because here we missed the semicolon now let's run it again and here we go right so here you see this is the summary of your proc survey and here is your sample data you see here is the sample data that you got in your proc survey now i would strongly recommend you to go through this what uh, so it simply says input data set is this random number seed is this sample size is six sample size which we took was this right and and so on right weight is and all now the point is we got the sample out of our data now here you see you have so many variables now for example we want to restrict the number of variables right so for that you can use id parameter and in that i am going to say make type derived train and msrp these are the variables i want to have in my output right when i am taking out a sample looks like there is something incorrect in the spelling of variables which i have written i will just see derived train says not does not exist so there is something inaccurate in the spelling of derived train what i'll do is i'll just check it out how the spelling is written right so the spelling is drive train not derived train it's drive train all right so now let me correct this particular part and here it's derived train now let's run this so here we got the sample of our data which is of six right and here you see we have particular variables so this is how you can use id variable id parameter to restrict the number of variables now here we just gave a size of sample there is another option which is called rate that you can also use and in rate what you need to do is you need to provide the percentage so, so let's say you have 100 record in your source data out of that you just want to take out 10 percent of the data right so how can you do that so for that we're going to use rate and for that what you can do is you can put for example if you want to select 10 percent you can put 0 0.1 or 10 and then you run it and then you see so here you have 43 records that means there could be somewhere you know 430 records in cars data set right and out of that it just take took out the 43 records right so this is how you can use the rate as well let's try there is one parameter which is called sample rate let's see if that is different from this or it's the same well both of these two things are same you just saw that right so either you can write rate or you can write sample rate for now i'm just going to keep it as sample size this makes it simple right nothing else now i will just run this to show it to you whether it's back to the same state or not so if you see here again we have six, six sample record now we are done with these three examples the other one which comes over here is strata sampling what is a strata sampling now again let me take you back to the board so for example here you have the population now if we ask you to do the random sampling because i give you an example that your eyes are closed and then you have to pick the people right so let's say you are picking the people with your closed eyes so you might turn out to be do the selection something like this right which again could be a biased scenario because if you do any sort of analysis that will be inclined to the red colored people mostly right so how can we fix this so for that what we do is we provide a condition that you need to select two people for example you require 10 samples right sample uh, size of 10 people right so we're gonna say that you need to select two people from each of the group right from each of the group you need to select two people so this is the sample you will come up 
with and this method is nothing but called the stratified sampling how can you do that over here so here for stratified sampling we will use drive train variable right so before i do that let me show you what is the value that you have over here in drive train so for that what i'll do is i'll simply select copy this particular data set name and i'll give you the frequency of value available in drive train okay data equals to this and tables tables equals to train and then run this so here we have three values all front and rear so when you use this when you ask sas select the samples basis on drive train stratify in stratified sampling what you exactly do is you provide a categorical variable and you ask sas to select same number of samples from each of these category in the given categorical variable right so for example if you are giving a sample size of 2 and in the drive train we have three unique values so sas will give you two records for each of these drive train means in the sample you would have total six records two will be from all two will be from front and two will be for rear let me just explain it to you for example let's run this first let's create two sample data set right over here this is random sampling this will be random sampling i'm just going to say random sampling random sampling right and this one i am going to say stratified random sampling stratified random sampling so to do the stratified random sampling what is it what is it that we need to do is we got to do first we need to sort the data proc sort data equals to sorry proc sort data equals to sas help dot cars out we will have cars only and we are going to sort this data basis on drive train all right and then run this okay now when you do this let's run this particular thing over here in here we need to change the data set and here we're gonna say strat we will simply simply change the variable in strat okay i will just cop cut this from here and i will put it over here same thing i'm just going to do with this particular one as well okay and here i would require to change the data set name while i am printing that so if you see over here we have two sim two separate proc sem uh, proc service select procedure written right so here we also need to use strata right and in this we need to provide drive train because we want to select two samples from each of the drive train okay now let's run this particular thing let's see if this gives the error yes it gave the error what is the error let's check it out okay here it says unrecognized form of run again we made the same mistake looks like we have missed something here we again miss the semicolon now again i'm just going to run this particular thing and if you see over here here you have random sampling and it randomly selected two records so let me just make it six over here i will just make it six oops not here i need to make six over here and then if i run this because here i am taking six record as sample size here i am taking two but this will select two samples from each of the drive train right so ultimately it will turn out to be six because there are three drive trains so now if you see this is the random sampling and if you see drive train for front there are uh, there are four records right for rear there is one and for all there is one right so this the, uh, if you make any analysis basis on this data that will be inclined towards front drive train 
so that might be a biased decision right but if you see over here here we have two records for all two for front two for rear so here whatever analysis you make that will be unbiased compared to the previous one so this is how we use the stratified parameter to make an unbiased selection of sample data i just hope that it was clear to you other than this i will give the link of these two documentation there are two documentation for this particular thing uh, on over the net which i found very useful one is this the other one is this and i highly recommend you to go through this try each of the thing which have been suggested into it right if you are very interested in proc survey select right and uh, put your doubt into the comment section if you struggle using any one of these options right i will 100 percent try to solve that and reply to your comments until then happy learning wish you very all the best